the shark. Few animals generate so much fear in so many people. Scientists who study sharks treat them with the same respect do any large, potentially dangerous wild animal. Dr. Peter Gruber of the University of Miami has been studying sharks for more than 30 years. To find out more about the movement of lemon sharks, Dr. Gruber and his students bury receivers along the bottom of the lagoon. When they capture a shark, they put a towel in its mouth to keep it from biting. A small transmitter is implanted in the shark's body without harming it. Each transmitter sends out a different signal so movements of individual sharks can be monitored. The shark is released. As it swims in the lagoon, signals from its implanted transmitter will be picked up by the buried receivers. Once a month, the receivers are recovered from the lagoon. On board their mother ship, information from each receiver is fed into a computer which determines where each shark was and how fast it was swimming every 15 minutes during a five-day period. There is much to be learned about the movements of that fascinating marine animal, the shark.